and welcome back to Zanpakuto Theory video. Now let's get it out of the way first. Yes, Yajiro, as far as it was shown, is actually Nozorashi, the, the Zanpakuto spirit of Kenpachi Zaraki. So, by all accounts, she doesn't, she can't actually have a Bankai or whatever. But then again, she shouldn't also be able to have a Zanpakuto, so that makes no sense. So, we're treating this as the character of Yajiro Kusajusi, the way we see her in the story as Shinigami, treating the theory of what her Bankai is as such. So yes, I'm fully aware she is Nozarashi Zanpakuto spirit, or at least that is the big implication from the final arc. Again, if Kubo had had maybe 10 or more, 15 more chapters to fill out the space of time with that, I'm sure we probably would have gotten a definitive answer. Though, I'm guessing he was relying on us to pretty much just put the pieces together. Either way, uh, and he's a good boy. And sorry, pumpkin shoes. He's a good boy. The, my, the viewers are going to be so disappointed when you're no longer in these videos tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Well, well, it's okay. Uh, you know, we, I, it doesn't mean I'm, you might never be in the videos again. Just you're not going to be in the videos for the foreseeable future. Anywho, uh, as he gets snuggly and I put something that was on the floor onto the table. Uh, anyway, so yeah, yeah Jiro Kasajusi. Um, we found out the name of her Zanpakuto in the final arc, and it is, it is a weird one, because even Asane, um, when, cause, as she was there to witness her Zanpakuto be released, even Asane is a little, like, is confused by her Zanpakuto. So her Zanpakuto's name is Sanpo, Sanpo Kenju, no, or translated into the three-step sword beast. Uh... And it's different than any other Zanpakuto we've seen. What happens is, uh, when released, it manifests two creatures that fight alongside Yajiro. The large bony one is the one that usually uh, is the one that uh, follows behind her, and then the small furry one is the one that precedes her. Now these creatures are they move in unison to Yajiro's will particularly with her sword strike. As I said, the small furry one is the one that precedes her sword strike. It's the one in front of her sword. And then the large bony one, surprisingly, is the one that's behind it. You'd think it's the other way around, but no. Uh, and essentially what this does is that ensures that even if Yajira's own attack misses the opponent, at least one of the others will hit, making an uh, making attack from this uh, Zanpakuto nearly impossible to dodge. The strength of a concentrated attack by San, uh, Sanpo, uh, Sanpo Kenjo Kenju, being concentrated, meaning all three, is enough to create a deep fissure in the ground where it strikes. I mean, there's a lot, actually a solid amount of power behind this. But as Isane basically kind of pointed out, she kind of manifests this power within creatures while the blade itself remains unchanged is unheard of. So what is the deal with this? How And what in theory would a Bankai for this type of blade look like? Well, first off, one of the prevailing theories, and it's probably kind of, well, there's two prevailing theories, and I go with actually the the, uh, the latter instead of the former. The former is that she's actually calling the aid of other Zanpakuto spirits to help, which is possible entirely. Uh, of like, um, for instance, lump the, the furry one, excuse me, the bony one, no, yeah, the lumpy ones, the furry one's name is Lumpy, and the goat, their skeletal one's name is Bony. Uh, now, whether or, knows, what, whether or not those are Zanpakuto's may, spirits, maybe, because she does have a habit of nicknaming people. So, it could very well be Zanpakuto's spirits she's calling to help him. My guess is, though, that she manifest, she was able to manifest her own power as, as Zanpakuto with, in just a different form. Uh, because, obviously, I, it'd be hilarious if she suddenly manifested Nozorashi itself. That would be fun. <laughs> Just yeah, Jira willing this giant war axe. Oh man, that'd be that actually be pretty awesome. Um, but no, it, it's I think it's just the Zanpakuto manifesting its power in some other way. Uh, because at this point we know here's the weird thing too. We know that Zaraki had learned Nozarashi's name and uh, clearly called it out once before, uh, just to know what it looked like, what it possibly could do. But why didn't Yajiro just disappear at that point? Maybe it was the fact that he had finally come to terms with it and finally openly released his Zanpakuto. And because she was around, she finally just disappeared. So maybe, um, 
maybe that's the case. At any rate, what would a Bankai for this thing look like? First off, we gotta go. We gotta go by the name. The three three step sword beasts. So obviously, there's. I mean, if you want to count, yeah, Jiro is a little beast. There's three beasts. There is, um, you know, there's yeah, Jiro. There's the furry and there are lumpy, and then there's bony. They're all they're beasts in their own right. The three step obviously refers to the three blades. Take a step, and no matter what, you can't dodge the blade unless you got either an ability or you're just fast enough to block it, or you can just block. You're strong enough to block and tank the full blow, like. A captain level opponent would probably be strong enough to block a full strike from Sampo Kembo. Now, if Yajiro had actually been her own, like, an actual Shinigami, assuming she isn't, uh, which, again, we're all going to get some, she's just not, but let's treat it as it is. If she had been like a, cap a character, had grown and even become like a captain, obviously your strength, your Zanpakuto's strength grows with you. This, this Zanpakuto would have grown exceptionally stronger as she got older and got more experience. So it's not unreasonable to think that like creating that fissure as being one of the probably uh, near her max capacity in terms of her attack strength at this point would have been child's play if she had been like, say like Renji's age or, uh, you know, the age of a cat, like a captain's age, like a Biak Biakia or even Unahanda, you know, if she had been like that experience, that level, that trying captain, that blade probably would wreck shop a lot more than did. It still wrecked a, the false Sturmer of these is shot pretty well. So, again, we have to go back to the question, the one we're asking ourselves in this video. What would a Bankai for this look like? So, three step, uh, three so, uh, step sword beasts. A Bankai for that pro... There's, there's different ways you can go. It could create maybe a menagerie like, of a uh, creature, of like uh, creatures, spirits, all attacking at one. But they also got to be a unison with the Ajira, so I don't really go with that one. Does it does it make um, a more advanced blade that does something other than cutting? Probably not, because it's clear that her Zanpakuto, like Kenpachi's, like Hikaku's, like Renji's, even though Renji's does actually have a mild Keto-based ability to it, and she got any large Keto-based ability in a Bankai, um... Yeah, prob probably not. It's clearly a physical type Zompok Toe. What I kind of think would be the would be the Bankai for this is something similar and akin to, and this is actually kind of weird to say, but Gin's Bankai, uh, Kamishini no Yari, which really, Shinso, it's an extending blade. So it extends the length of 100 swords. Kamishini no Yoyari allegedly extended like some odd kilometers. I can't remember the exact amount. Point is, he was lying, but clearly extended far enough to cut off the top of an entire area of a town. Uh, I think that's something of what we see here. I think, A, first off, the sword would, the blades would grow longer. I think even like Yajiro's probably even grows longer to like a bigger sword, maybe a Kodachi or something like that. The designs probably change up. In fact, what I would actually think is, uh, both Lumpy and Bony, their appearances change to some degree. Uh, Lumpy, the furry one, becomes a bit more animalistic. His cleaver, which he has, becomes a bit more haggard. Maybe looking a little bit like Nozorashi. Uh, maybe looking more like a, like a buzz saw kind of effect a little bit. Something like that. Something that looks very worn, very haggard, but also very deadly. Whereas the, whereas Bony, where if you can see in this image, kind of what his looks like. It's definitely a bit more of a, of a, it's, it's clearly based kind of like off of, like a bone sword, a sword made out of a bone, but it's clearly got more of a design to it. I think what you could maybe see with this one is a sword that looks a bit more like a scythe, give off more of the Grim Reaper motif. But more importantly, when I get, when I mean, uh, what I mean by when I say that it takes more after Geens is that I think it doesn't matter if you're actually out of the range of the blade or not. Like, a smart fighter would probably, like, Byakuya, for instance, if, again, if they were, like, roughly speaking on the same level and they were duking out and she went into Shikai, Byakuya's got the spe enough speed on his, uh, I mean, he first probably would be taken um, by surprise by this ability if they were going in blind. But he's got the speed advantage where that won't matter. Like, he's a master of Shimpo. 
So he would still be able to avoid it using his own ability, uh, using just his speed. And a Shikai also would actually be a pretty good counter for this because it'd actually be able to let him know where the blade really is. Because the blade's got to come in contact with the with his Shikai. Uh, and he doesn't actually have need to be close to it. But what I think it does is besides being more ornate, maybe changing up the way these blades look to a certain degree, it ex uh, basically length is not a distance is not a factor with the Bankai. It doesn't matter how... In fact, I think that's where I get the similarity between um, Gein's Bankai and, honestly, his, his sword in general, his Zambato, and the Bankai is that Gein can just attack at range, but even attacking at range doesn't... Re he's still got a limit. What I th see here with whatever the three-step beasts... Uh, let me see here. What is the, uh, the three-step sword beasts? Again, I don't know what the Japanese translation of the name I'm about to think up is. Um... Uh, but uh, what I something similar to uh, the three step dance, three step dance uh, of the of the sword of the or excuse me, a three step sword beast, um, the uh, dance uh, dance of uh, the three or death death dance. That's what I was trying to get at. Death dance of the three step sword beast. That I think you could turn into a cool name. I think. Actually, I think that's a, again. I don't know what that would translate out to. But it would actually, I think that'd be a cool name. Um, anyway, hi, Ugh, you silly kitty. Uh, so what I think would actually be the co proper bond cover is that no matter where, how you go, uh, uh, how you um, divvy, uh, divvy it up, how you splice it, you can't avoid the blade. You either got to block it and hope you can take all of the power and with, a, you know, the Bankai being five, ten times stronger than the Shikai, that quickly ups the power level quite a bit but for, um, furthermore uh, you either have to you can only block it otherwise you can't escape it unless you're able to you know duck below the blade that that would be a different scenario then. ducking or dodging above is the probably the, because that is the only real weakness of the sword in, well, in terms of the way it attacks is the way that it attacks it's very linear in its, in its way it strikes you can only go up and down things along the uh, follow Yajiro's blade. It can't they can't move independently in the sense that Yajiro's going to the left, one's going to the right, one's going up. You can't do that, unfortunately. So yeah, that would that's still the one problem with the with the uh sword overall. No but no Zampak does perfect. Even Ryojin Jaka and uh Ichi uh Ichimonji, those aren't perfect blades either. They do have limitations. They do have um they do have, you know, weaknesses to some degree. Granted, they are few and far between, especially when it comes to something like Ryujin Jika, which can pretty much scorch an entire planet. Uh, or Aizen's uh, uh, Sokia... Uh, Sokia... Uh, Aizen's Blade. I can never... Uh, uh, I can never... I can never get it right. Uh, the name of it. So Getsu. I know that's in the name. Um, point being, though, is that uh, that has a weakness to it. Actually, it has a couple uh, flaws that you can uh, get around. So, yeah, no blade's perfect. Even in their Bankai, they're not perfect. And, and, like, for instance, Yamamoto's would actually destroy a plant just by being activated. So it's actually a very risky Zanpakuto to be using if he's not careful. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be the a solid way to represent her Bankai. Is first off, the blades on her friends change. Their appearances change a bit more. Like, again, Lumpy gets a bit more feral looking uh bony takes on a bit more of a hooded grim reaper effect and you know his sword turns a bit more into like a giant bladed scythe and i mean it'd be like a pretty like a giant or at least like a hook blade somewhat mirror a scythe and the entire thing would be a blade and then you get um lovey's turning into something a bit more like a haggard battle axe or something like that something akin more to like nozarashi or something like that and Yajiro's may turn into like a ragged Kodachi or something like something along those lines. And basically, you just can't avoid it. No matter what, how what distance you uh, you try to avoid, as long as you are level with the blade, as long as you don't duck or you know jump above it or you know downward, as long as you don't sidestep whatever, uh, you are not avoiding the strike. So that is my idea of what Sampo Kempo's or Kenju's Bankai could have been. Uh, should know, they don't list a release command for it, but I could have sworn she said, come out and play, and then she said the Zanpakuto's name. 
I thought the release command, quite frankly, was come out and play. So maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'll have to reread that chapter at some point. But anyway, I digress. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. What are your thoughts on Yajiro Kusajiji's Zanpakuto? Do What do you think her Bankai could have been? Uh, if she had ever been, if she, you know, if she were actually a true Shinigami, which again, we're going under the, we, we go under the belief that she probably was actually Nozarashi. And out, out, no, no calling my hand. Oh, you're so, you're so playful, but you're so violent with your class. Um, yeah, we go, ah, no, stop, stop, here, play with this. <laughs> yes, yes, you play with that. Uh, sorry, she got, she got him a dog toy, so it, it's a rope, but he, he seems to like it. And plus, it stops you from clawing my hand. <laughs> so, yeah, I, again, we I, it's pretty... It's not... All, it was never officially stated, but it's pretty much said, more or less, that she was Nozarashi. But again, if she wasn't, what do you think that Bankai would be? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point and ideas for who would win. Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if, anything to do with the channel. Put that in the comments below as well. I'll get that at some point. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.